Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I'm here to talk to you guys about my park. Now, I've been waiting to talk to you guys about my park for a minute now. I came out with a little full details video on the actual commercial featuring KD, Steph Curry, Paul George, and Ann Davis. Oh, and those two Monstar little kids. But this time, I'm actually able to talk about my park as a whole. So uh, let's dive into it. If anybody is confused, this is the video for you. So I want you guys to listen up. First thing that we're going to talk about is affiliations. Now, you will only be able to join one of three affiliations. The Old Town Flyers, the Sunset Beach Ballers, or the Rivet City Rough Riders. Now, each affiliation owns an eight-court park, which in fact means that you will have a chance to play at three different parks on 24 different courts. So let's just put it to you like this, man. Say, for instance, me, myself, I think I'm going to go with the Sunset Beach Ballers because I want to be somebody that has good inside and outside shooting. And say I, you know, go into the Rivet City Rough Riders Park and I decide to play those guys. What will happen is when I'm playing those people on their home court, if I win, I get extra incentive and extra rep and extra VC and stuff like that. But we'll dive into rep in a little bit. Let me talk to you a little bit more about the affiliations. Now, say that you create an athletic 6'9 small forward, right? Oh, um, the stat she suffers coming soon. But uh, that'll be all-star weekend in real life. Um, But say you create that guy, right? A lot of people will say, well, he's probably going to go to the Rivet City Rough Riders, right? Because, you know, he wants to excel in rebounding and he wants to excel in athleticism, right? Not if you don't want him to. Say he's already been a beast in your my career, athletically and rebounding wise. Why don't you go to the Sunset Beach Ballers to get up his shooting? Or why don't you go to the Old Town Flyers to get up his playmaking and defensive ability? You have so many choices here. You have a total of three choices and you can kind of sculpt your player any way you want. Now, uh, let's move on to the My Park rep. Now, once you select your park, right, and you start earning your rep, it's basically your reputation. So say, for instance, you're one of those players that constantly back out. You don't play basketball for real. You don't play teamwork. You know, you're taking 100 shots a game missing. What happens is your rep won't increase as much as somebody that has a B plus to A plus teammate grade, somebody that got five assists, four points, you know, you could have tw 15 points total, you know, that and that, and we'll talk about more on a 15 point thing soon in this video. But say you have 15 points and you know, you're like, yeah, I did my thing. You know, I had all our team's points. It might have took you 17 to 30 shots just to get that 15. You ain't making 15 straight. It might have took you double, quadruple the shots, you know, just to come up with that 15 points. So your rep isn't going to increase much. You're going to be known for that guy that isn't doing anything. So let me talk to you guys a little bit more. This is one last thing on rep. Now, like I said, as your rep increases, you will upgrade more part specific upgrades such as you know um the way people dance and you know the introductions their dunk packages their crossovers all the little funny lurky moves right but look i got one little thing for y'all if you don't increase your rep you won't be able to buy new clothes so let's put it like this if you think you're gonna come out there and do everything for your team yeah y'all got the win but you ain't use no teamwork you ain't gain no rep you're gonna still be in that brown dp suit while everybody else out here sporting jewelry trying to get these assists and trying to play teammate ball so i'm telling you now if you want to get your rep up you need to play basketball even if you at the park you got to play the right type of basketball guys that's that's all i'm saying now, uh, the next thing about Park, they have something called the My Park Championship. I'm going to just dabble in that real quick but because I'm, I'm not really too worried about it. But um, starting October 11th all the way up until All-Star Game, what they're going to do is have, let's see, the River City Rough Riders or, you know, the Sunset Ballers. They're going to have, like, all these different people playing with these teams. And whoever has the most amount of points added up and accumulated by the time the All-Star Weekend come. The 2K will actually build them their own personal court. It's probably going to be like a new upgraded court or something like that. You know, it's probably, it's going to be pretty dope. But see, this is the thing. 
when you build a court and you put it in a game, is that going to be only specific to those guys or will people from other parks still have to come to that park and play? And people just call it, oh, this is my hometown court. But yeah, it's your hometown court, but I still play there, though. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's kind of like a, a give or take thing. But, you know, maybe they'll have like gamer tags and stuff on the ground, uh, spray painted or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, let's talk about the Jordan Rec Center. No, you know what? I'm going to hold off on the Jordan Rec Center. Let's talk about squads. So basically to all my my crew fans out there that are disappointed that crew didn't make it into next gen even though it's still on last gen you know even though it didn't make it in next gen squads basically is something where you can form a squad it's like a lobby within the my park lobby where you can send messages to your friends invite people to your squad and then when you go to step up on the spot the dot next spot you come in as a squad. I explained that the last video, but let me deep, you know, dive, you know, into it a little bit, bit deeper. But check it. Say, for instance, you know, three v three, right? And I'm by myself. I could call up somebody like Shakedown or K Speed and say, "Yo, I need you guys right now on my squad. Let me hit you up." You know what I'm saying I call their phones personally, of course, because I got their cell phone numbers. But if they're both online and they're both in game i could shoot them a text or something from um the new my nba 2k15 mobile app that's coming out or i could send them a message through psn and say yo come on over and then they can get invited to my squad and all you have to do only one person has to step on the got next spot and once that person steps up everybody else steps up so it's not like yo you pick this spot you pick this spot you pick this spot because what will happen is as your squad is playing Whoever you're playing, they will decide who you go up against by height, uh, play style, position, stuff like that. So if I'm a point guard and I'm 6'4", right? And I have a point guard on my team that's 6'1". So he's 6'1", I'm 6'4", our next guy is 6'9". I would be the two guard. I would be, uh, what is it? Circle. I would be circle in the, in the fold, of course. Um, so that's just how squads are going to go. Now let's talk about the Jordan Rec Center. Now a lot of people, especially crew fans, always talking about I don't want to play at the park. I don't want to play arcade style basketball. I don't want to have to spin a helicopter move. I don't want to be dunking between my legs and 360s and off the backboards and all this. I want to play simulation basketball. Okay, you can do that in the Jordan Rec Center. The Jordan Rec Center has four full size courts, right? All 5v5. None of them are 2 or 2. None of them are 3v3. They are four. 5v5 courts what comes with that is five minute quarters uh nba rules basketball which means you get a referee you get calls you get all of that but the only thing you don't get is fans you don't get fans you don't get that excitement from you know when somebody dunks and, and the crowd goes oh ah you don't get that what you get is your simulation basketball 5v5 calls and a ref now a lot of people are going to be like well you know what are we gonna do for jerseys what do we want to wear jerseys well let's put it like this 2k has a uh, my player store right don't you think that they will have jerseys available for people that want to play in a rec center don't you think they would have some type of jerseys cool now uh let's move on to the next thing all right so matter of fact you know what one last thing on the jordan rec center you can squad up on the jordan rec center or you can come in as a random but let me talk to you guys about hopping on these spots now let's say for instance right um, we have two randoms, you know, on the 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 side for the not squad, right? You know, it's the people that just got next. Say it's two of them, right? But me, I come into the lobby. I got me, K Speed, Shakedown, Q, and Sub the Gamer, right? You know, we we step up and we like, yo, y'all ready to knock this out? Cool. We all get invited into the squad, right? And I step up on the spot. If I step up on the spot and my five step on the spot, who do you think gets next first? You know what I'm saying? It's self-explanatory. Every spot has to fill up in order for that line to have next. You know, if two people step up and say, yo, I got next, and then I got my five, they're not going to send the two randoms on the court and then split my squad up. They're going to send my squad on this court and say, yo, get your weight up and get a squad. So if you come into the Jordan Rec Center and you want to play 5v5, do not come in as a random. Don't do it. It's going to be a total waste of your time because you're going to get next and it ain't going to be nobody there to play with you. So if you're coming in to play at the Rec Center, 
come with your squad don't come as a random i'm gonna keep it 100 now let's talk about these wait times yo now if you're playing 5v5 five, five, five minute quarters you have to wait i'm just gonna put it to you like that if people are in the third quarter of their game you're gonna be on the got next spot that means when you show up to the court you better get on the court and you better win and keep that court because if you lose you are gonna have to wait now five minute quarters can either be 25 minutes to 35 minutes you will never see four or five minute quarters only be 20 exact minutes you're gonna have fouls you're gonna have people shooting foul line shots you're gonna have dead balls you're gonna have out of bound calls all kinds of foul calls there's gonna be so many dead balls that the games can stretch from 25 to 35 minutes even 40 you know even even 40 and you know and i'm i'm also not sure about overtime yet i'm totally not sure about that i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i don't know if it's an ot because we didn't send it in the ot when i played it out in cali so i truly do not know about that but i'm gonna tell y'all now man make sure y'all start squatting up man get y'all people get together and get the people that you're gonna play with on a daily basis now uh let me talk to you guys about some additional features i'm gonna see if i can shed a little bit of light but i'm not gonna get too too deep in it but um with the new attribute upgrades feature right you're not gonna see a whole park full of 99s which means when you're building your player up you can't just buy them out in vc you can't just buy a 99 anymore what you have to do is when you come to the park let's say you're you're 89 overall max right that's that's like where your position max at when you come to the park you got to earn rep and vc right once your rep goes up you unlock more spots to upgrade your player to become better so you won't see like 99 straight out the gate on day one not including 2k said that they're not turning their servers on until 10 7. so i know it's going to be a plenty of guys that create players and and you know they they go right to the vc store buy up all the vc they can and then once they hit that that, that roof that ceiling they gonna be pissed so you definitely gonna want to hit the park or you know hit the rec center and get your rep up because that's gonna be like one of the only ways to get your guy all the way up there but um i will say once you pick your court um where you want to be the ballers the rough riders or you know uh the old town i can't remember the name of them dudes but that'll be like your specialist you know your signatures of how you build your player up now uh, i told you guys right 15 points that is now the max for when playing on the on a park even if you're playing 5v5 you can only go up to 15 as the highest score if you know somebody has a uh, 14 and somebody else has uh 13 you know if they score they win i'm thinking that it still win by two i'm not totally sure but I, I don't think that they would make it uh straight up though i don't think they would do that do it like that even though it would make it more competitive to do that because a lot of people when it's 2020 and you know game go to 21 People always say, yo, just let them get the one, yo, just let them get the one, we'll get it back. They never are on the edge of their seats. And I hope that 2K would make it like that, but you know, that's just me. But uh, let's check this out. Um, when checking the score, right, you know a lot of people always play on 2K view. You know a lot of people always had to turn the broadcast and change their camera just to see the score and it pissed a lot of people off. Well, let's put it like this. They are now bringing back the score overlay. So you don't have to change the camera anymore so you know if you change the camera in 2k14 and 2k15 you don't have to change the camera to check the score they brought it back you know something that was already in the game even on a quick game and my career and all that is it's it's on the park um also the teammate grade meter that is now an overlay for when you're playing a park so people that want to get their rep up and want to get their teammate grade up me myself I know that I'm going to play to win, but I'm also going to play my um, games for teammate grade, especially when I run with randoms. When I run with randoms, it's all about the teammate grade. If I don't win, I don't win. You know what I'm saying? I can get something else for losing or something like that, but when it comes to just playing with straight up randoms and I don't know nobody, I'm going for my teammate grade. I'm going to be setting picks. I'm going to be throwing good passes. I'm not going to be throwing too many crazy alley-oops. I'm going to take good shots. It's going to be all, you know, simulation basketball. But uh, I will say that a lot of people do want to get that my nba 2k15 mobile app when it drops because that's definitely going to be something that a lot of people look forward to definitely to you know message people get easy vc all that and i hope that 2k pushes notifications when they have uh my team cards and all type of different um events about to go down i hope that that's the app that they will go to to push notifications because it would just make everything a lot easier but uh the last but not least um let's talk about the stage man um 
Chris Move came out with a video. Um, he did the video for Sony, and basically you can uh you know play other squads or randoms or whatever for VC. So basically, you know, you're not playing for you know no 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 crazy putting up bread in the PayPal account and all that. All you gotta do is go into the wager matches on the stage, play whoever you want. Um, you get if you're with Sony and you got like a PlayStation Plus drink, you get fifteen thousand VC off the gate. So you can automatically wager that fifteen grand, or you can go even higher. Um, the max drink I think is like forty five or something like that, forty five k. Whew, that hurts. But um, the stage will definitely be for people that are very confident in them and their team to get this VC. Um, and also, uh, I'm not totally sure if once you get that VC, it's like a separate bank where you can't use it in my team. So I'm guessing for guys that got beast my players that's getting into my team and they got good teams, I think they might just go to the stage and be like, yo, I need this VC real quick because everybody got 45K on them. I need to double that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just do it like that and go do a pack opener. But um, this is our KC signing out. I hope I gave you guys all the information, man. Um, if I didn't, leave me comments in the comment section. And what I'll do is I'll read the comments and whatever questions I didn't answer, I will respond in the comment section. All right, so uh, let's do the whole responding and messaging people back if I didn't answer your question. This is IKC signing out, y'all. Peace. Yeah.